Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. So we're going to do another Celtic cross spread. I'm going to try and do this spread for the month, well, beginning now throughout July. See how the messages play out with a different spread. Um, just to make an announcement, starting in July, I will not be accepting new clients for personal readings. So if you already are an established client and someone who generally reaches out to me to get readings, I'll still be accepting those. I just cannot take on more um, new clients at this time. Um, but I will let you know when I am able to open that back up going forward. Okay, but you can also find, if you need any other readings, you can go to my Gumroad account where I will do extended readings. And if I have an extended reading for, say, this video, I'll make that announcement and post the link below in the video. Okay, so Virgo, let's get into your love reading. See what the messages are for July 2022 or from the time you're watching this video going through July. Okay. Virgo, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Hello to everyone in the chat. Please do consider joining my um, channel as well, where you can join in on Saturdays and get a mini reading with me. All right, let's take a look. Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What does Virgo need to know for love? Okay, past position with the Four of Swords. Present, the Chariot. You have the Six of Pentacles, the position of benefit challenge, the sun driving the reading. You have the Knight of Pentacles, crowning, Queen of Swords, near future. You have the Seven of Cups, position of you, Queen of Wands, external to you. Hopes and fears, the Six of Swords, and the outcome, the Empress with the Nine of Swords. Okay, bottom of the deck the moon the lovely lovely moon and let me just start off the bat real quick we are showing pisces cancer uh, libra gemini aquarius leo sagittarius aries and taurus okay so starting off here you've got the moon so there's a little bit of um hmm a lack of clarity is what I feel, or some type of an illusion, um, or some secrets that are being withheld. Three of Cups. So there could be connection with some friends, um, a support group. Um, could something to do with dating for some of you? Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. And the world. So, oh, okay. Some of you are leaving a marriage or... Um, have left a relationship where you're starting over in your life, having a new beginning. Okay. And the Ace of Swords. There's a some type of communication is going to start coming through, obviously, pretty quick. There's an initiation happening here. Somebody is seeking clarity. I feel trying to find out like what you're doing, if you're dating or if you're talking to other people. Um, you're looking pretty good here, Virgo male or female energy you're looking pretty fine standing in your element staying in your power um and i don't mean power in like um you know uh, like in a very egotistical way it's just it's not it's power in the sense that looking you're you're, you're stable okay you seem very stable works going well or will be going well for some of you money's coming in capable of doing the things that you have been setting out to do, getting in a better position in your life. Okay. So there is an energy here of um, some type of communication, somebody asking you if you're in a relationship or if you're single or if you are dating, what you're, somebody seeking your, your ASL, <laughs> age, sex, and location, trying to find out the deets on you or getting some, trying to acquire some information. Now the past position the four of swords so this is withdrawal okay so some type of situation in the past where this is like going uh, somebody withdrew or you withdrew or you just pulled your energy back in the past healing four of swords is always healing after some type of a divorce or breakup or some kind of a loss so 
this could have just been yesterday this could have been like a couple hours ago you started this so this has just been a journey that you've been on seeking quiet okay seeking a uh, or you saw it in the past uh, just a getaway maybe some of you went on a vacation or you just decided you needed to get away from person place or thing or something that was making you kind of crazy but right now all right the first thing I'm gonna tell you is some of you are getting a loan to buy a new car and for others um, somebody's helping you with something okay or you're seeking some help financial help with something or from somebody in order to make some kind of a move okay or to do something chariot is it feels like your energy right now is i know what i need to do i know what i want i know how to go after it and i'm working towards doing that and it might be uh, it's a benefit for you to seek some type of help at this time okay um but some of you are trying to get away from someone who could presently be trying to breadcrumb you, okay? Or who is giving to you out of a sense of, uh, oh, they just gave me the word placeholder. Like somebody is not giving the full amount of what you need or what you want. And they're just kind of giving you some crumbs here and there or they did in the past and you guys kind of pulled away from that energy with the chariot it's like you're in movement here in July you're going you're gone what's driving you is getting to a place of happiness and joy some of you it's just simply being on the beach or trying to get yourself in more like positive mindset this is what's driving you at this time so whatever that might be for you in your life there's movement here there's taking action and making change okay um some of you could be relocating taking your children with you um but there might be some restrictions of some sort that you're not able to do that right away okay there's there might be some type of a challenge some of you it's a challenge paying off some debt something along those lines i know this is a love reading but it feels like i'm not seeing much in the way of, of love at this point it feels more like in july um you withdrew your energy in the past and now you're actually making some changes and what's crowning you is the knight of pentacles so this has a lot to do with like trying to it feels like financial <laughs> it really does it feels like um and you know relationships are not all just about love they relationships embody all areas of our lives you know our health our career everything so whether you're in a relationship with someone or not or you're just in this particular place in your life where in july you're like trying to reestablish or just get yourself relocated or move or travel away or get into a better situation in your life i feel like that energy what's going on here is is where you're at this is your mindset which driving you is the sun being bold um getting out into the light or like a moth to a flame and that knight of pentacles energy it's kind of crowning you so it's like in your thought process i feel you're like slow and steady you know that you're going to get to where you need to go but i don't see you being in a rush here so there is an energy of getting yourself it feels like repositioning yourself and what you're trying to do in your life now what's coming towards you is the queen of swords so that could be a person coming towards you uh, uh libra gemini or aquarius now this if this is a person coming towards you male or female energy this person's coming with some to give some clarity um the queen of swords holds the sword which is the ace of swords which is initiation and somebody's coming in to try to clear the path or clear the obstacles for you this could be someone coming in to try to help you um, this could also be a, like a friend or a family member but there's also truth coming with this person so let me just get okay 
So three of wands. So I feel like somebody's coming in here um, asking you or coming towards you, asking you if you want to make some plans or travel plans or go visit them. Let's get a little bit more clarity here. Who is this? Or what is this energy? Because um, this is about... So, and I also feel they're saying somebody is going to communicate with you and um, will be waiting to hear back from you. Oh, wow. So it could be a Gemini. So the magician is here. Uh, this is about starting new, beginning a new phase in your life. I feel like what's happening here. So for finances, relocation, um, getting yourself into a new home or a new apartment or um, going to stay with a friend for some of you, taking your kids with you um, or going, it could just be going on a trip or traveling. You're getting an invite of some sort from someone. And also, like I said in the beginning, the overall message of the reading is this person trying to get some clarity on where you're at with things if you're single or if you are leaving a relationship or if you've left a relationship or if you are interested in dating your position though, like sitting here with you as far as love goes you don't seem to want to you, like you're not you're looking at your options you don't seem to be committing to anything here you know you're you're looking at all your options you're not committing to anything you're kind of like your head's up in the clouds you you're seeing like all of these visions and these ideas and i do feel like somebody's going to be reaching out to you to ask you it feels like so which one are you going to choose or which path are you going to take or what are you doing um are you coming this way do you want to come towards me Okay, could that be a lover? It could be. Could it be a friend? Yes. But I just feel like for you, you're like, well, wait a minute. Now, hold on. Everybody stop. Now I got plans and I've got things that I'm thinking about and I'm trying to sort things out with, you know, what I want, what I'm doing, which path I'm going. Look at his hand. It's kind of like you're also drawing people towards you as well um, with some kind of powerful magical force i don't even know what that means but it's kind of like um like are you using some kind of jedi mind trick or something <laughs> what are you doing you're like and i don't mean people i mean you're like manifesting things towards you at this time and this is your advice as well to um it's it's not necessarily like i mean if you have power over people like we need i need to have a talk with you like what is that Jedi mind trick you're doing there? But as far as like other things in your life, I feel like you're um, commanding things to come towards you and pulling in, trying to catch as many fish as you can at this time. <laughs> and then kind of just stacking them all up there so that you can decide um, what's going to be the best, like narrow it down. It's so strange. It's like narrowing things down. Let me see. And this seems to, well, this is in the position of your advice, Virgo. So let me see here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're like, you're putting yourself out there and seeking out all of your options and seeking what's available to you. That page of wands, it's like, I feel your advice here is to get very enthusiastic because with this change or whatever you're doing in your life here or just kind of like taking this break and getting a fresh new perspective and opening yourself up and exposing yourself and I don't mean like you're walking down the street and with a trench coat and you're nude underneath please don't do that but I do feel like you're kind of like you know let me make a reach out here and see what my options are maybe maybe in the past you felt like you didn't have much in the way of options but it seems like you're somebody's coming in here and is kind of inspiring you or asking you um what are you doing with your life what are your plans what do you you know what i mean this this uh, an inquisitive energy that i feel now the queen of wands is sitting external to you okay now for others now wait let me just say not for others but a different message coming through that queen of swords there can also be representing you okay where you are getting yourself clear and looking out into the horizon to see 
you know, I feel like you really do get clear. Once you, once you get to where you're going, make this change. Um, then I really feel like you have like this crystal clear vision of things that you know that you're going to be able to make uh, real in your life. Okay. So that's all that manifestation energy. And your advice here is definitely to keep reaching out and keep trying to see what all of your options are. Don't commit to anything just yet. Just keep looking to see, you know, communicating, you even asking other people what they're doing with their life, what their plans are, where they stand. Now let's talk about this Queen of Wands. So male or female energy, fire energy. Who is this person? This is someone who's external to you. Okay, Six of Wands. This is someone who's very... Uh, I don't know if they're popular. They get a lot of recognition. Okay. Hmm. All this passion, passion, passion. Okay. This is somebody external to you who's going to try to stop you, I feel, from going somewhere. Wow. Okay. Somebody doesn't want you to go or somebody doesn't want you to leave. A situation, a place, a relationship, family, friend, lover. They want to offer, they want to be the one, they want to be the genie in the bottle to offer, um, to make your wishes and dreams come true. I don't know who this person is. You might know who they are. You, they might show up. Um, so I feel like you've got some opposing forces. I feel like in July, you're making plans for yourself and doing what you need to do for yourself. You may have somebody who is uh, like a friend or somebody who is inviting you and, go and trying to be like that springboard for you to take off from. But there's also somebody here who's opposing and it doesn't feel like it's like in a negative way. I just feel like somebody's, I just, they just gave me an image. It was like somebody standing at the door and saying, no, oh, please don't go. I will, I'll, I'll fulfill this. I'll do this for you. I'll help the, I'll help you with these things. I don't know who this person is to you. Okay. Um, but just so you know, this is external to you. This is somebody else opposing and saying no now you've got the six of swords your hopes and fears so it's kind of like because i feel like this is a necessary transition that you're making in your life you know it needs to be done you know you needed to, to do it for yourself but it's also scary you know um there's an elephant ele i almost said an elephant there's an element here of doubt Okay. You know, you need to do it, but then it's like, but well, what if I, if I do this, am I making the wrong decision? What if I, I mean, you can never make the wrong decision when you're honoring your, when you're trying to meet your own needs. That's never, a, that's never wrong. So you might be battling with that or struggling with that. You know, maybe you love someone and you don't want to leave them. You want to try to make something work, but you don't know you know, are, are you going to be sacrificing yourself to a degree where you lose everything and they have all the gains? You know, you're, you're kind of in a black and white thinking. And I feel like in July, you're more so in this place of like trying to recollect your thoughts and figure out what it is you need to do for you. And you've got some help, that's for sure. But then you also have somebody else who, and it doesn't have to be a fire sign. It's just someone external, uh, like I said, male or female, who is kind of like trying to tell you not to go. So you're hoping you're going to be able to make a transition, but you're also fearing it. Right. And I feel like for you, you know, with the Empress, it's kind of like, I know that this is the position I need to be and have these new beginnings and be in my abundance, but it comes with like a ton of anxiety and stress. So I don't know why that is for you. I don't know why putting yourself first would be giving you extreme anxiety and stress. For some of you, I just heard it's somebody, some of you don't want to have a child and somebody else wants to, if there's a pregnancy, 
It could be you or someone you're connected to. And a lot of this could have something to do with this. Like, how can I take on or take care of a child? And somebody, and you may be thinking that you don't, you know, want to follow through with a pregnancy and somebody else is coming forward and saying, no, let, let's do it. Let's do this. We can do this, you know? And if that's not your situation and it's somebody else's, so be it. But I feel like going forward, you're kind of like, okay, well, if I stay, you know, um, you, you, you've been getting yourself into a more peaceful place, but if I stay, is this person really going to come forward you know, are they really, I mean, they're, they're blocking the path. They're blocking the door for me to begin manifesting what I need for self. Um, they're trying to hold me back. Is this person really going to try to come in and work with me? Or are they just going to keep holding me back or pull me down? So I feel like I'm going to definitely go into the extended reading for this energy because I want to see if this person is following through or will follow through um, because they're really... Whoever they are, I mean, this person's coming in very bold and trying to champion this, but they're also um, being very persistent or will be very persistent in July with this don't go energy, you know, blocking the door, blocking the path. Don't go out. See the sun in the background. Don't go out there. And that's exactly where you're trying to get. That's what's driving you to be in a in, a, in a in like a place where you feel warm. So does that mean that the place that you have been has not been warm? You know, and why is this person trying to stop this from happening? You know, and that's what we're going to take a look at. Uh, are they going to? Are they going to? You know. Are they gonna are they trying to be the sun in your life? Or are they are they jealous or is there is there control? We're gonna take a look at that. The link will be below the video, so definitely check that out. I do want to give you just a couple of charms here before we get going. Let's see what the qualifiers are here. Okay, so a couple of things here. Okay, we do have, it's interesting because I'm seeing son. This could have something to do with pregnancy, like I said, or somebody's son, okay, uh, connected to a son. There's something about change with a son. Um, we do have a little blue rocking horse here. So when I say son, I mean, it's biological, but, you know, as far as gender, I mean, I, I just, I can't figure that out, but it does feel like there's a coldness here with this snowflake. Um, and I feel like you are trying to get in a warmer spot because something's been quite cold. You've just been healing something or your heart or your emotions or just trying to get some peace, some R&R, &R, healing from something that was traumatic or difficult or some past situation. It could be somebody doesn't want a divorce, doesn't want you to sell the home or leave the home as well. So maybe you live in a cold area where it's actually snowing. Okay, it's snowing in July. Maybe it's Christmas in July. Um, you might see that somewhere. Somebody's got like a Christmas in July sale. Um, so there's also a sea, I think it's a sea turtle. It's either a sea turtle or just a regular, oh my gosh, and you also have the star. Wow, I'm really feeling like Christmas or, you know, July. Um, and July through December, going into the holidays, something really magical happening. And then they're just telling me Aquarius. Maybe there's something to do with an Aquarius here. Okay. This turtle is symbolic. Somebody has a turtle or just is a turtle fan or likes turtles or has a turtle. Maybe wants to get, do something with a turtle. It could be like a, a tattoo turtle a tattoo turtle <laughs> tattoo of a turtle or something along those lines it gets symbolic for somebody something about a turtle or turtles aquarium 
Sea turtles living by the sea, a snowing on the beach. I bet that's so pretty. And then you've got a butterfly here. So yeah, this is indicative of you're making a huge, I, I feel like a lot of you have already come through this, you know, energy where in the past, like you're, you, you're not right at this point healing from something like you've already begun that phase of rest, R&R, &R, withdrawing, healing, and getting some renewal. And now in July, you're making these changes. And I just feel like somebody's trying to stop you from leaving. It doesn't want you to go. But we're going to take a look in the extended to see um, what this energy is, how this person, how they're going to be coming through, what they're going to be showing you, if they're really going to follow through, um, or if they're just trying to keep you from going. I feel like this person... You are, I want to say, it sounds so cliche to say, to say a wish come true for them, but why now? That's the question. Why not before? Okay. Um, and what I was saying at the beginning of the reading, somebody, I feel like, um, was going to be asking you like, if you, are you leaving because you're going to start dating others or you're leaving a relationship you're leaving are you like a lot of questions a very inquisitive energy all right so i'm going to go to the extended the link will be below the video check that out if you want to find out more if you're interested or if this is enough for you either way do whatever you like and i will see you guys tomorrow all right take care